So you finally found your dream embroidery design online, and you can't wait to stitch it out. But there seems like there's a pretty big problem ahead of you. You don't know how to transfer the design from your computer to your machine. But worry not, because in this video, I'll show you three simple steps you can take to get stitching. Before we get started, I just want to welcome you to John Deere's Embroidery Legacy. For those of you wondering, no, John did not create a time machine, I'm simply his youngest son James, and I'll be doing a lot more YouTube videos in the future, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I'm sure that we can all agree that finding a quality embroidery design online is either a hit or miss nowadays. Something that looks absolutely beautiful on screen can turn into quite the opposite once it stitches out. Which is why I use ultimatestash.com for all of my embroidery designs. Not only are all the designs stitched as correctly, there's over 25,000 premium embroidery designs to choose from, all digitized by the world's most awarded embroidery digitizer. So I've decided to go with this design here, it's the elephant with baby medium. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my cart and proceed to download it. Okay, so I'm just about to download my design. If you guys need help downloading a design, I'll leave a video link in the description showing you how to download a design from this site. So make sure you check the description for that video. So as we can see, I did download the zip file on the bottom left hand side of my screen. You can also find this within your downloads folder on your computer. So I'm just going to double click to open it and open up the contents. See there's multiple design files in here, don't worry about that, it's just for different machines. If you're brand new to Ultimate Stash, be sure to hit the link in the description because you can get one free embroidery design out of 25,000. So now that we actually have our design downloaded, we're going to start the process of transferring the design. So first off, you're going to need a USB stick, it doesn't matter the brand. I know with a few older machines they only support USBs that go up to 2 gigabytes, but nowadays you should be fine with any size. Just make sure the stick has enough free space on it for your design. So we're just going to begin by plugging our USB into our computers and as we can see it came up as no name on my computer. So I'm going to go back to the folder I downloaded off of Ultimate Stash and I'm going to select my design. The reason I'm choosing PES is because I use a brother machine, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it onto my USB. Now I can also do the same by just simply dragging and dropping. Now we're ready to put the design on our machine, so we're just going to go ahead and eject our USB from our computers. So now that I'm at the machine, I'm just going to look for the USB logo. For me, it's on the right side of my machine. I'm simply going to plug my USB into the slot and select the USB icon on my screen. Now all my files will show up and I can simply select the design I downloaded. So there you go, you now know how to transfer designs from your computer to your machine in three simple steps. It really is as easy as one, two, three. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below as well as a comment for what videos you'd like to see in the future. This has been James Deere for The Legacy and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Hi everyone, John Deere here and thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Also, to become part of the legacy, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time we release a new weekly video. So join the legacy now. It's no mystery, award-winning embroidery is our history.